G'day Hammerheads, welcome to the backyard. Uh, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, try and half a drill. The Bosch Flexi Click uh, SDS adapter. Now I don't have the whole drive apart and everything like that. That's actually surprisingly expensive. Uh, but I managed to get my hands on just the SDS part and I'm gonna give it a shot. So let's see how it goes. So FlexiClick was the first one of those uh, installation drills where you can swap all the different ends on there. Milwaukee just released one of these, but FlexiClick has been around for about 10 years, I think. Uh, so, you know, maybe that'll rejuvenate the kind of technology a bit. It's got a quarter inch hex drive inside there. So theoretically, if you can get something that's sort of gonna be deep enough, it might work. This, this is the only actual sort of driver adapter I've got, and it's not quite deep enough. So it'll make it turn. But it doesn't actually grip it hard enough to drill. So strangely enough, I've got to use another SDS drill. Just because this is the only adapter that I've got that's actually deep enough to, to, to grab that drive in there, so... So, oddly enough, yeah, I've got to use an actual SDS drill to drive this thing. And, uh, yeah, this thing is a little bit munted. Uh, so maybe that's why I was able to just buy this sort of cheap at a pawn shop. But, but anyway, let's just whack some bits in there and see how it goes. Uh, so that's a 6mm. Concrete here, let's see how we do. That's on drill only. So that's eight millimeter. Ten millimeter. So far, so good. Twelve millimeter. Fourteen millimeter. Sixteen millimeter. This is getting pretty hot. Eighteen millimeter. Shall we do it? Eighteen.
okay, so I gave up on the 18mm. I wasn't really working and the shuttering wasn't really liking it. Very hard to control. Ugh. So anyway, 16 worked okay. Wouldn't really go for that though. Well, there you go. Uh, proof of concept established, I'd say. I'm actually pretty impressed with how this little thing went, uh, just with my crappy little rig here. Uh, obviously, if you do want to get these, uh, go for the actual version. Don't just sort of jury rig this thing like I did. Um, but yeah, still pretty impressive. Uh, they reckon this thing has one joule of impact, which puts it in line with, uh, you know, basically a lot of other 12 volt rotary hammers, like that little Makita brushed one that I've tried before. So you wouldn't really go above 14 millimeters with this, but it did manage to drill up to 16. So that was pretty good uh, The 18 couldn't really handle it and not surprising really because that impact really not enough for such a big drill bit So anyway, there you go guys. This is something I've wanted to try for years and years and uh, I don't know if I'll ever bother uh, doing a proper video on this one because this is just you know some old thing It's a little bit munted too. You can tell by all the wobbling um but anyway, if you use this thing, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you reckon. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed with this so far. Who knows? Maybe I'll take this a little bit further. Scratches later.